Good afternoon and welcome to our live Facebook this evening. Um, I did have a slight false start in that my camera wasn't working on my desk so I do apologise if you started to join me about five minutes ago. So we are back now with a working camera. So good evening, my name's Jenny McCormack. I'm a Stamping Up demonstrator and I'm based in Brackley in Northamptonshire in the UK. Thank you so much for joining me today. We are going to be making some simple cards with the cute little tortoises from the Turtle Friends stamp set. So it's called Turtle Friends, but here in the UK, um, the characters would be known as tortoises. Um, and I did look up in um, online, just before we came online, um, what the collective noun is for a group of tortoises and it's called a creep a creep of tortoises I suppose based on their movement the fact that they creep around although they can go quite fast as far as I, um, I remember from a friend of mine who had tortoises so welcome I'm going to take you over to my craft desk which hopefully will be working this time round and we're going to be doing some um, stamping in the round, so using our stamparatus and I'm going to make our tortoises go round in a circle, have a little bit of fun with those. So I'm going to pop you over to the craft table. If you are joining me live, do say hi so that I know that you're here. Uh, it's always nice to um, know who's watching. And if you're watching, hi Linny, if you're watching on Catch Up, or on YouTube later on. If you have any questions or queries, don't hesitate to um, pop a question on there um, and I'd be more than happy to get back to you. Hi to you, Carol, as well. Thanks for joining us. So I'm going to pop over to my craft table and let's get crafting. Okay, so I have got the um, Stamparatus here and this is the stamp set that we've been using this week it's called sorry i say this week it's only tuesday isn't it so it's called turtle friends as you can see it features this larger tortoise and these two smaller ones and this fun little bird here and then we've got some nice related sentiments i like this one it's time to celebrate Mm -hmm. and these were the two cards that we made yesterday so there's this one here and I've used the embossing the hammered embossing folder behind because I thought it reminded very much of the shell of a tortoise so that's that one there and then the other one I did yesterday was just to stand the tortoises on top of each other with the little bird at the top and I've used some balmy blue ink with one of our blending brushes here just to create a soft sky background along there. So what I thought we would do this evening is have some fun with the tortoises going round in a circle. And what I will do with this then tomorrow is I'm actually going to make one of our pinwheel cards where you can turn the wheel round and something different appears in each of the windows. So that's going to be tomorrow's plan. So today we're just going to have a little bit of fun. Um, so I'm going to use this little one here and I may use the bird as well. I'm not quite sure. So let's start with this one because I want him going round in a circle I'm just going to move these a little bit out of the way and hopefully you'll be able to see the stamparatus there let me just check up on my phone and see that um, I can see any um, comments and things that you have sorry I can think of the word then for a minute Let's get to the right place. I can see some on my um, computer, but uh, that doesn't always update. And the phone was a little bit better about updating yesterday. But we'll see, is the answer. 
hopefully it's actually showing us live now there's always a delay um, between going live and it actually appearing somewhere on my page here we go yes we are so hi to Lynn and to Carol thank you both for joining me so what I thought I would do is I've got a square of basic white card this is four and a half inches square I've got a spare one here that I'm going to use if I need it or for my inside of the card and I really love this um, selection of colours and I think it was Kerry um, from Australia that joined us yesterday morning and her suggestion was Bumblebee and Bermuda Bay hi Tracy and I really like that combination so I'm going to use that combination again so I've got Bumblebee layer here which is four and three quarter inches square and then I've got a Bermuda Bay which is five inches square so I've just got a small border there between the layers okay I'm going to pop those to one side I put them to the right of my mug when I'm looking for them so because this is a photopolymer set I'm using um, one of our mats here that fits on the Stamparatus and Stamparatus is our stamp positioning tool and I've got my template which I've added a little bit of um, tape to the back and that will keep that nicely in place for me and I've got my stamp there just pop that one up so what I'm going to do is pop my piece of card in the center of this blue um, square so that blue square is just a little bit over four and a half inches and what I want to do is see how many um, tortoises I can get on this page so what I'm actually going to do is use this other little one so that if that one is on there and I turn this have I got enough space I know this is the wrong way around so I'm going to sort of put it in like that yes I think I have because then there'll be enough space for the next one perfect okay so I'm going to start this in the center as I say there's a little bit of margin around the outside and I always start as I've mentioned to you before with the flat side at the top rather than the point because if the pointed side was there and you put your little tortoise up in the corner when you turn the paper around it'd be cut cut in half so always take the shortest distance first and I'm sort of centralizing it against this line here centralizing the whole tortoise rather than just the um the shell okay so i haven't tried this before i'm hoping this is going to work so let's pop this down and lift it up okay so what i'm actually going to do is just turn this to see where this is going to be positioned hi tracy yep i'm happy with that so let's just pop that on there I've also got a different stamparatus today because it's got a different um, mat and no central magnet but that's fine so what I'm going to do is ink this up with early espresso and we do have the shell that I'm going to stamp in so I could um, once I've done this actually put the shell on and turn it round as well and then I'm going to um, just use blending pens for colouring in the actual um, base part of the tortoise so I just want to get this cracking and as I say what I am going to do tomorrow is do this as a pinwheel card so that I've got different um, images popping up okay so here we go with our first tortoise thank you for that information Tracy most useful really appreciate that so I'm going to take my glasses off ok 
Okay, and then I'm going to turn this round by one. So there are two tortoises, two small tortoises in this set. See how strong these magnets are. Um, but one face is one way and one face is the other. I suppose I could have had them in pairs facing both ways, but somehow I wanted them all to go around in in one direction. Just, just re-inking that. You could use a stamp and write marker if you wanted to. If you prefer, as it's a small stamp, you could do that. Turn this one around again. Re-ink it. Oops. So I hope everybody's had a a good day. They seem to have gone really quickly. There we go. So I'm just working my way around. So I'm going to get eight of these all the way around. And I'm just keeping my magnet off the um, the tortoises that I've just printed, just in case they're still slightly wet. There we go. So how many have we got? Five? Yeah, five. So Carol, I hope you've had a good day. Um, busy, no doubt. I know Lynn's had a reasonable day. I caught up with her briefly earlier. crocheting all day. The weather's been most peculiar, that's for sure. So where I was this afternoon, I came out this afternoon and it was absolutely throwing it down. There were floods everywhere and then partly away, partly away the, along the M40 and it's brilliant sunshine, not a drop of anything in the sky. Most weird. Carol's been very, very busy. There we go, so we've got our tortoises going round. Now, I'm tempted to save um, realigning everything, although it's not may not be quite as accurate. I'm tempted to put the tortoise shell in and stamp those. So I'm just going to turn this over, leave that one as it is in case I want it for something else. And I'm going to stamp the shell in soft suede. No rain in Stratford. Yeah, I think, so this was down in Surrey in Camberley. So obviously it's, um, yes, working its way around. So let's grab the shell. Now I know there's a little bit of play in here because um, I've been moving this around but I think I'll get away with it because there is a bit of a gap if you look here between the shell um, image and the shell outline. So I'm thinking I shall probably hopefully get away with it and it'll probably be just as accurate as if I'd manually stamped it. So let's have a look and see. So I'm going to pick that one up with the plate. 
I know that's going to move. That's the only thing with photopolymer stamps is they stick so well, but they stick so well to everything. Okay, let's have a quick look and see if that's roughly in line. Yeah, that's good enough. So rather um, than having to line these up by sight, I haven't got much ink on this stamp on this ink pad but I think I'll get away with it yes so there's that one so just lining it up in the middle again and that will be close enough Aren't they cute? Hi Claire. I love you to have lovely to have you join us again. Haven't seen you for a while. I hope you're okay, my darling. I hope your family are alright too. Young Matty and everything growing up so quickly oh bless you thank you for all those hearts so just working my way around we've got lots of new kits out Claire that might be of interest to you so um 11.25 and 18 pounds for um our new kits oh good i'm glad the family's well and it'd be the sort of thing that if you wanted matty to get involved it's all die cut and everything ready so um i'm sure he would be in his element i'm i'm fine thank you claire That's sweet of you to ask there we go so just working around here so i say you could just stamp this in but to be honest because you've got to line each of them up it's just as quick to do it this way and then you don't really have to think about it there we go and then the last one There we are. Now I was wondering whether we could put the birds in as well. Let's have a little look because this bird is so cute. So it's a dinky, dinky little bird. Obviously there's not enough space for him to go on the outside. But I wonder if we could put him in between. But would it look a bit silly because he's facing the same way? Just see where he would end up. If he was on there. I think I'm going to risk it, you know, why not? Failing that, I could put <laughs> um, the big tortoise and punch her out and have her in the middle but I'll do that this time round save the bird for another time ok 
Okay, let's just pop that here. Pop those on there. Pop that out of the way. So what I'm going to do now is just really quickly fill in those um, tortoise bodies with a little bit of crumb cake with a blends pen. So I've got a light crumb cake. Here's this one here, which could do the job. So I'm just quickly going to colour these all in. So I've got the option of putting the birds going round, which is this one here, or putting mummy tortoise in the middle. Let me know if you've got a preference while I'm just pulling these in. So I'm just doing this really quickly, just going over here and then I will add um, some soft suede for his or her feet. For her nails, as I was informed yesterday, they have toenails. So you learn something every day here, don't you? So a collective noun for tortoises is a creep. A creep of tortoises. And I'm presuming that the multiple is tortoises and there's not some other word. A family of tortoises. Yeah, sounds about right, doesn't it? So let me know if you think I should put a bird going round or stamp mother tortoise in the middle or father head tortoise. Mummy turtle in the middle. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, hi, Jeanette. What would be quite nice is if I had a um, a die cut or something behind her, so that she stood out. So I'm being as quick as I can. Oh, that's one. Oof. So I wonder if they call this a turtle in Canada. as well as in America. Okay, just going to add with my light soft suede their little um, feet. And as I was saying yesterday, I saw somebody done this and then given them little pink nails or red nails or something. There we go. I think that 
on a dark tail. So Jeanette, I'm, I hope you're well. Funny that I should meet up with somebody that knew you. Although I guess it's not really funny in this day and age, is it? Crafters tend to migrate to crafters. Right. There we go. Okay, so there's my um, circle of tortoises, my creep of tortoises. Um, so I'm going to stamp and punch out the mummy tortoise just, just so you can see that in action and I'm pretty sure I've got if that's big enough that is so I'm going to stamp her oops She's hoping to come to my classes, Jeanette. So if you want an excuse to meet up again, then you'd be most welcome. Okay, so there's big tortoise, and then we've got the shell. Although I could use it's time to celebrate this one here. Or I could put this, I could do that. What I might do, here we go, is both. So stamp this in a very light Sahara sand and then put the celebrate on top. Um, let me have a look at this crumb cake. See, I want it really light, so I'm just stamping that off up here. Yes, I think what I'll do is grab a piece here. So this is crumb cake, so Harasan might be a little bit better, but stamp it off once. I've got hair on it. Let me wipe it again. And if this doesn't work, I can stamp it again anyway. So stamping it off once. And then stamping it on here. Am I celebrate? Oh, could be. <laughs> could be celebrating the babies. Let's have a look and see. If this doesn't look right, I will redo it. But just want to see. to celebrate there we go what do you think Duh. let's do a little bit of crumb cake to fill her in anyway you almost can't see the shell it's so light So I'm just using the wider tip because I've got a larger area to colour in. And this is crumb cake, same as I've done the little ones in. Just taking that tip to the edge. Oh, 
we got the tail. And then again, light soft suede for the feet, toes, nails, whatever. Right, let's have a look. Let's see, so I'm going to punch out mummy turtle. And if you're wondering what the yellow dots are, that's to let me know that this is from the annual catalogue. So when I'm looking at the punch on the shelf, or if I'm looking at my stamp sets on the shelf, I can see that it's from the annual catalogue, as opposed to from the forthcoming new mini catalogue, which will have a different colour. Okay, so let's see. So I'm thinking I could put some um, a little bit of blue sky around it to um, to soften the whole background, and maybe a little bit of grass that like here that we've got here that she stood on. What do you think? It's going to go this way on my card, so I it would be too tight to have the birds in there as well. So I think I'm going to have her on there, but she's going to be popped up, perhaps. Let me just see if I've got a die cut to hand. Um, that would fit nicely in the middle, that's all I was thinking. A circular one. So I've got a scallop circle here. That's quite cute. Um, let's see, that's a little bit too big. And oval, so it definitely needs to be circular in my mind. So I'm just looking at my the sizes that I've got here. smaller that's too small <laughs> that's a square one no, that cuts them off but I do quite like the crumb cake having said that I am putting it on these two layers I might swap out those colours now. What's up I got? It's too big. I don't really want to die cut anything specifically. That's black. So I might have to rethink the card layers that I'm putting this on because I do quite like that because it's almost like she's on a a green and they're <laughs> they're going all the way around it so in which case and what I might do is um, reproduce these layers so early espresso with a granny apple green card behind otherwise i'm introducing too many new colors um, but i do rather like the green on there and she's going to be popped up on some dimensionals so i'm thinking what i might do is just some stamp some of that grass so we've got a really useful little bit of grass let me grab a small block for that okay let's take that out of the way and um, what I want to do is roughly work out where she's going to sit stand 
and just with a pencil mark I'm going to mark where her feet are so oops, like that and that and I appreciate you can't see really that detail but it means I know that I can put my grass to the right and in that little bit in the middle um, let me grab a bit of I'm going to use granny apple green let me see what it looks like so I'm going to try it on the back yep perfect so you always get tone on tone but the ink um, ends up being darker obviously rather than the same colour so what I'm going to do is add some grass in here a little bit there and then I'm just going to wipe this off and just ink a little bit of this so just that little edge to go in the middle like so there we are and then I guess I could fill this in So, my first aid tin with my rubber. So, as I've said before, just make sure you're using a quality rubber that you keep tidy and tucked away. Well, not necessarily tidy, just keep tucked away so it doesn't get um, dirt and stains on it and then it means it won't um, mess up your design so I'll keep that in my um, first aid kit which goes everywhere with me and it has um, a couple of sand erasers adhesive remover and plasters okay so she's going to go on to there so let's pop her up with some dimensionals. There we go. So we will be back tomorrow. That's Wednesday morning. And I'm going to be doing a pinwheel card using this set so I'm going to position her in this grass here like so I should have perhaps put a little bit underneath those feet so let's just trim those out so not the tidiest way to do it but oops it does the job as though looking a little bit unsupported underneath there I can just see a tiny little bit sticking out now there we go that's better right so 
that's going to go onto there okay centered in that so I'm going to stick with this set of colors so I'll just grab that set of card ready uh, let's just see if I haven't made sure I haven't missed any comments oh no they're all good so early espresso and granny apple green I was cutting up some cards on um, at the or for Friday's um, coffee and card only to realize that I'd actually run out of melon mambo cardstock I had lovely lipstick and I had the new color but I'd run out of melon mambo how bad is that so that's on my next order so this is going to be so I'm going to cut this Forty-eight and a half. So I've got a complete card base that goes in my card base stash, and then this one is going to be four and three quarter inches. This is my layer, and that's four and three quarter inches square. And then the card will be five inches. Okay. So what I'll do for this one. Is because it's going to be a five inch square card I'll cut it five inches straight down like so and then while I'm here I can score it at five inches like so and then just extend the arm and cut it at ten And then we can just put this together. There we go. So this will be our layer. That one on there. That one on there. And then our, it's time to celebrate. I can only think of um, oh, James Bond. Oh, and I can't think of which one it was. So, sort of thing you'd say. Somebody will know who I mean. <laughs> Tell me you know who I mean. Oh. Shall I put a little bit of blue around the outside? Yes, I shall. Oh, desperately trying to think of his name. Somebody will tell me, I'm sure. So I'm just using my blue blending brush. So I just keep one for each of the main colours. So I've got a blue, a green, a yellow. Sean Connery, thank you. Yes, time to celebrate. Oh, and by the way, I'm absolutely no good at voices. <laughs> I tell you who is good at voices, and that's Lynn. <laughs> She'd do a good impression of that. Um, I'm just looking for Barbie Blue Ink, which I know I put out ready. Probably now under my pile of examples. Thank you, Jeanette, for that. I'd have got it eventually. Oh, there it was. No, yes. So I'm just going to add this in so I've got a little bit of um, sky, which you can see on here, hopefully. Well, I'm not sure that you can, actually. Just very subtle. That just softens the background. So take some of the ink and make sure you're taking some of it off. Now, if you don't want to take off too much, use a, um, a 
plastic sheet or a silicon mat to rub that off and then you can pick up more ink back from there but I'm just going to come in from the edge and go sort of in between and it's very um, subtle so that you can sort of go over without obliterating your creep of tortoises as I say I shall be back tomorrow and make this into a pinwheel card and we had really great fun at our class at the weekend some fantastic designs and ideas that came up so and that's just given me another idea actually just thinking about that so I don't know if you can you see that um, if that's if I put it next mm, next to some white you'll be able to see it a bit better so it's quite subtle but it just softens the starkness of that there we go as I say I don't clean my um, brushes in between because I'm keeping the them um, keeping the ink on which is perfect then because if you only want a little bit um, of sky or grass it's ready to go you don't necessarily even have to have the um, they're ready so let's pop this together and we'll be done for this evening so I'm just using my um, seal but you could use your glue of choice whichever one you prefer centralizing that keeping my fingers underneath on one side until I'm happy with its positioning so you're not dropping it down and then there's not really any difference here between our tortoises there we go there we go a little bit in the middle I say it doesn't really matter if you had one that you know stood out you could make that one the, the sort of top one if you wanted to there we go and there's our time to celebrate and I'm just going to position that so she fits in between all of those and I might just put that up on dimensionals as well and there we are all done for today so I hope you're able to join me tomorrow I know there's usually lots going on on a Wednesday and 10 o'clock does seem a popular time for people to do lives so if you aren't able to join me live then do catch me on replay or on YouTube it's always um, appreciated and do leave a comment and if you're on YouTube and you want to make sure you don't miss out on any of my videos then um, hit the subscribe button bottom right hand side and then just um, hit the little bell symbol and then you'll get a notification every time I go live or upload a video so there we go I don't know what we're celebrating um, but there she is mummy tortoise and all her little babies so thank you so much for joining me today 
um, as I say, I appreciate you um, hopping on and seeing me. Let me just um, catch up with you here. So thank you so much. Um, weather's turned for the worse at the minute, um, but not actually raining. So thank you so much. Um, I hope you have a nice evening watching tennis or football, if you're into either of those, crafting or just having a bit of time to yourself and relaxing. Um, make sure you take care of yourselves, look after yourselves and each other, and I look forward to crafting with you very soon. I will be back tomorrow, Wednesday morning at 10am, and um, you'll be able to catch that on replay. So thank you so much everybody, have a great evening, uh, thank you once again. <laughs> Thanks Lynn. Oh, torrential rain. It must be headed my way. <laughs> I'll be looking out for it. I think I'll go and walk Cassie the dog now then. Thanks for that, Lynn. Thank you, everybody. Take care now. Bye-bye.